I'm Phila Martin-Nielsen, and I also play the role of Nadia, do me a favor. When I was three years old, I was diagnosed with autism, and um, it was a very severe case of autism. I could not speak, I couldn't make eye contact, I couldn't, couldn't communicate. And my mother was a single mother at the time, and it was difficult for her to understand like what to do. And I was her only child, and by the time I started speaking, I was four years old. And that's when I started saying immediately, I wanted to dance, I wanted to dance, I wanted to do ballet. And all the other activities that my mother would have me do, um, yeah, it was just not working out. Like I was obviously miserable doing it and I couldn't focus into it. But then when a ballet class happened, like it was like a light switch, like light bulb went off. And what they noticed in that was that it was the first time they ever saw me focused on something. I could not focus on a task to save my life. And that's when they realized, like, maybe we should keep letting him do it. You know, like, he is focusing, he is aware, he's making eye contact, he's listening. Dance for me is, um, it's, um, it's the way that I express myself. It's the, it's my, it's my choice of freedom. It's definitely, um, to me, it means something that I, it's a art form that gives me the most fulfillment. It gives me joy, pleasure, and also helps me through everything that is in these hardships in the world. Well, I find it very, very important to do um, these workshops that I do with um, young children. I do these um, autistic therapy um, ballet classes. They're ballet paced. They learn actual ballet steps and um, the concentration in that to help bring a focus and a discipline because of how disciplined ballet is. And as someone that has dealt with the struggles of autism throughout my childhood, being diagnosed at three years old with um, a very severe case of autism and um, being in extensive, extensive therapies um, to get me to where I am today, I felt like ballet for me was the strongest therapy that I had because it forced me to learn my discipline. And then when I realized I was really not doing well in my academics, I used that discipline in ballet to apply it to my academics. And that was what helped me a lot as well with that. But it's very important for me to get these workshops and these um, classes for these kids because it's, it gives them hope and it gives them a chance to do it.